Let's check out questions 24 through 30 from the New York State Chem Regents exam. Sorry about that, I was checking something on my phone. And um, let's get started. Question 24, what occurs when a magnesium atom becomes a magnesium ion? Well, with magnesium atoms becoming magnesium ions, let's take a look at the periodic table. Here's magnesium. Magnesium, of course, is on the metal side. What do all metals do? They lose electrons. So, how many will magnesium lose? It has two valence electrons, and you can see up here, you can use that oxidation number. It gives us a plus two. So we know that magnesium is going from having all the valence electrons, or an oxidation number of zero, to a oxidation number of plus two, which is it's also its charge. So what do metals do again? They lose electrons, and the oxidation number increases, which is choice three. So I'm going to call this a skill. Of course, you also need to know the definition for a metal. All right, let's check out 25. Energy required to produce a chemical change during got chromatography, electrolysis, boiling, and melting. For question 25, you need to know your definitions, of course, of what these four choices are, and then, of course, whether they fall under chemical or a physical change, and sure enough, boiling is just physical change, right, going from liquid to a gas, melting, physical change, solid to liquid, Chromatography, that's separating out, right, typically by a physical property such as boiling point. And that leaves us with electrolysis. You put energy in and you break apart things using electricity. So definitions. Let's go to 26. Reaction of Arrhenius acid with an Arrhenius base produces water and something else. An acid plus a base makes salt plus water. So there's your answer. It's a fact. Know it. 27. One acid base theory defines an acid as. Well, an acid produces H plus in solution. That's one definition. The other acid base theory says it's a hydrogen ion donor. So again, we're dealing here with definitions. It even says the fines. 28. Which phrase describes the decay modes of the half-lives for potassium 37 and 42. Don't have to memorize these. This is a skill. You need to recognize you've got to go to the reference tables. And we're looking up K37 and 42. And what do we have going on? Well, K37 has a much shorter half-life, seconds versus hours. And K37 is decay mode is beta positive, and 42 is beta minus. So, let's go back. It's a two-for-one question. Is the decay mode the same or different? It's definitely different. So cross out one and two. And then do they have the same or different half-lives? It's definitely different, so it's different, different. But choice three. 29, which particle has a mass that is approximately equal to the mass of a proton? Well, that's a fact. And that is, of course, a neutron. And finally, for 30 here, which change occurs during a nuclear fission reaction? Again, fact, E is equal to mc squared. For fission and fusion, matter is converted to energy. So, again, write down those facts and definitions. Practice those skills. Keep working hard, and good luck.